Well, everybody, this will probably be the final update video. Um, the next video will probably be uh, starting it and seeing how much racket we can make. Got everything done except for the radiator, the fans, and the uh, throttle body. Air filter, small stuff like that. All the big stuff's done. This was a... Um, I don't think I really touched on this in the beginning, but some of you probably know. It's a, a perimeter bolt to center bolt valve cover conversion anytime you're going from the old 806 heads, I think they were perimeter bolts, to the 243 heads or 799 heads or any of the newer heads. They're all center bolt. Much better design in my opinion. It's what I'm used to. Yeah, you get a better head to come along with it, but I, I don't mind getting rid of the perimeter bolt stuff. All my perimeter bolt stuff will be for sale in the future. But, um, yeah, it turned out really good. Happy with the conversion. It's amazing how much more big the engine looks when all the crap's back all over it. I elected to buy whole new coil packs and brackets and the newer style wire harness that goes with those coil packs and brackets and I think it just provides a cleaner installation. I don't ever plan on putting fuel rail covers back on this thing. I'm not, I've never really liked fuel rail covers. As a matter of fact on the GTOs it used to uh, literally catch those cars on fire. I don't think that was a problem on the Corvettes but you don't want to rub holes in your fuel lines. So, all the plugs are in. Plug wires put back in. Everything's looking pretty good. Belts are back on. I uh, hooked the battery up and spun it through for about six or seven seconds earlier to see if we could get some oil moving. Unfortunately, there's still so much stuff left unhooked that the computer's too smart for that. It wouldn't even leave the oil pressure gauge up on the uh, display, so I'm confident all is well there anyways. I did flush out the uh, oil pan and change the oil filter. Should be good to go there. Always recommend wasting a couple quarts of uh, your favorite Wally World oil to just dump through with the drain plug out and get any of the cleaners and stuff that might have gotten in the old oil. One nice thing about the LS is you don't fill your engine full of coolant like a lot of the old school small block Chevys and Fords and things like that. So, pretty excited. I'm gonna, my new procrastination now that I have the headers back in and the exhaust system fully hooked up will be to um, procrastinate on getting the radiator and the fans back in because that kind of sucks a little bit on this car but man should be running within a day or two depending on how busy I am at work and we got more snow coming we're not used to snow around here so we'll see what the week provides next Saturday at the very latest is when it will be running and then, like I said earlier, Dino Days the 25th. That should be fun. I really enjoy working with the tuner that I use. And I'll definitely get some videos of that as well. That's it for now.